फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द बेनिफिट ऑफ पेंशन इज ए कंडीशन ऑफ सर्विस इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द स्कीम ऑफ रेगुलेशन दैट एन एम्प्लॉई वुड क्वालिफाई फॉर पेंशन प्रोवाइडेड ही मीट्स द रिक्वायरमेंट्स एन वी सेज अंडर द सिविल सर्विस रेगुलेशन इट इज वेल सेटल्ड दैट द कंडीशन ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट कैन नॉट बी रिलैक्सड एंड रिक्रूटमेंट रिजोर्टेड टू डी होर्स द स्टैचुटरी रूल्स इज ए नलिटी द अथोरिटेटिव डिसीजन इन दिस रिगार्ड रेंडर्ड बाय द अपेक्स कोर्ट इन केस ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका वर्सेज उमा देवी टू थाउजेंड लेस डाउन द लो वेन वी एनालाइज द पटिशनर्स आर्ग्यूमेंट फ्रॉम दिस स्टैंड पॉइंट ए डेली वेज इम्प्लॉय इन आवर कंसिडर्ड ओपिनियन कैन नॉट बी इक्वेटिड विद ए रेगुलरली सिलेक्टेड पर्सन द पैक्स कोर्ट इन ए कैटेना ऑफ जजमेंट्स हैज स्पेल्ट आउट द डिस्टिंगशन देयर फोर द क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्रूटमेंट by following due procedure under the rules and through backdoor entry is well recognized once the classification in the matter of recruitment is recognized distinguishably any challenge to a provision which grants protection of pension to the requisite length of substantive service alone would be misconceived and contrary to the spirit of article 16 of the constitution of india we may safely observe that any challenge to the validity of regulation 370 which leads to diminish the distinction between the valid recruitment as per rules and backdoor entry is clearly an attempt to equate two unequal and distinguishable situations which have rightly been classified under regulation 370 for achieving the goal of article 16 of the constitution of india it is essential to draw such a distinction and the same would not impinge upon any fundamental right available to the petitioner under article 14 of the constitution of india as such challenge to the validity of regulation 370 fails the petitioner in the instant case has not offered any justification as to how a daily wage employee can be equated with the employees who are recruited in service by following the stringent process of recruitment the services rendered by a regular employee for that matter can neither be equalized in terms of financial implications nor treated at par with the services of a daily wage employee unless the rules so permit now coming to the judgment placed reliance upon by the petitioner suffice it to say that the case of the petitioner is governed under a different set of rules the petitioner has also not laid any foundation for establishing equivalence of his daily wage services to be at par with the services of a regularly recruited confirmed employee even the right to hold the post prior to the date of his regularization in a substantive capacity is not established or construed in the light of any statutory rule and it is also not made out as to how payment made to the petitioner out of contingencies may be treated as regular salary this writ petition has come to be filed after about 2 years from the date of petitioner's retirement and that too 
under the garb of challenging the validity of regulation 370 which is clearly an afterthought stop